Hi guys, thanks for joining me and welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful fall day today and so I'm going to share with you how I prepare for the colder weather ahead. I've got a meal going in the crock pot and I'll put a recipe down below for you guys. It's a rich creamy chicken and rice dish with Brussels sprouts. But first I'm going to put my coffee in my to-go cup and take it outside and do some work in the yard. I thought this was a fun idea. I was watching Rachel Talbot and she showed how she cleaned out her chicken coop and did some things outside in the yard one year for her fall prep video. And I just thought it was a really cute idea so I thought I'd take you guys into the backyard today and you can see how I freshen up my chicken coop. And basically all I do is clear out as much of their old bedding and their mess as I can and I haul it over to my compost pile. Um, you can see I'm using my snow shovel and that's really just because it's the biggest shovel that I have and I don't have a wheelbarrow. So I will use another shovel to help me fill this up and of course I'm wearing gloves to keep my hands clean. So I also just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video you guys. I really appreciate anybody who watches my videos and if you wouldn't mind please give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Down in the bottom of their coop, I need to level out the ground because chickens love to scratch and dig and so they make everything really uneven and what ends up happening is their little ladder that goes upstairs gets knocked over. So I just need to make sure that's all nice and clean. And then I add more bedding and so I use sawdust that I get from Tractor Supply and it is pretty chunky. It's not very fine. There's nice big pieces in there and that helps to keep the chickens warm and it's also just another, it's fun for them to play. They like to scratch and they like to dig around and look for things. And then what I need to do is clean out their food and water containers and just refill them. So I'm going to give them some more food and some more water here. And I like leaving dishes of water out for them all over the yard. But recently one of our chickens did get hit by a car. She had gotten out of the fence and she got hit by a car and so she's no longer with us. And so I no longer have free range chickens. I do keep them in their house just to keep them safe. Then I had to work on my herb garden a little bit. I needed to cut it all back and harvest it. Um, so what I had to do was I had put this chicken wire over the top basically to keep the chickens out of it and I had to get that out so some of the herbs I trimmed off and then I was able to get that out of there and what I ended up harvesting was parsley and a nice little bit of sage and some chives and I also had some green onion and basil.
And then I took all of the herbs inside and I cleaned them all really well. I rinsed them all off and dried them. And then I chopped them all up and laid them out on cookie sheets to dry in the oven. And the way that I dry my herbs in the oven is I just turn it to the lowest temperature I can. So my lowest temperature is 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And I just left them in there all afternoon. Occasionally, I would go back and open my oven door a little bit to let any moisture escape. And then I would just shut it right back up. And I did this, like I said, for the whole afternoon, I left them in there. And then I turned off my oven and left the herbs in the oven to dry up overnight. And then the next day, I just put them in little Ziploc baggies and I have them to save for later. And here you guys can see my chicken is almost done. It's the end of the day. So what I like to do is I go back in when it's almost done and I like break up all the chicken and I get it all nice and shredded up and then I let it finish cooking and it gets really, really tender and it keeps a lot of the moisture in the chicken that way. Okay, so this is the next day, and I really needed new bins for my cubby by the back door. So these are from the dollar store, and they come in all different sizes and colors. And basically all I'm doing is organizing all of our gloves and hats and scarves. And I ended up putting the kids' snacks in the little cubby to the right, and I put away their craft stuff because it was just making a big mess all the time. So I'm just sorting their snacks into these little bins as well. So here I am just sorting out like our coats and scarves and things like that. Um, somehow a bunch of the kids' sweaters had ended up over here in the bench area. So I got that all sorted away and then just put away any of the hats and mittens that were unorganized and get them all cleaned up. And I ended up putting shoes back away. Um, I had also gotten out a pair of my winter boots. And so the last thing I needed to do was just clean up a few little things like there were some sweaters out and some socks that I found that I needed to put back in the kids rooms. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
And the very last thing I had to do was clean some crayon off of my bench because the baby had been coloring. You wanna try? Wipe up. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Good boy. Very good, thank you. Oh, what a helper. Squeeze it. Rub, rub, rub. Thank you, bud. So I really appreciate you guys like watching my video anything. and watching how I prepared for Aww. the fall weather this year. And I just ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.